And also, too, I worry if I am too submissive, will he not respect me? Nah, no, 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 no. Get, get rid of that. Get rid, get of, rid of that. Get rid of that. Stupid that shit. won't respect oh, wow. me. Crap. That's not real. Is that yeah. real? Really? You, you know what? So many women say to me, "You're so Andrew. You know what? You're so rich, but you're smart, and you're actually very intelligent. And I know you'd get really bored of a, like a robot." And I'm sitting there thinking, "Bitch, I wish to God you're a robot." <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We talk about star signs? Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. Tell me more about by Sagittarius rising, <laughs> idiot. I don't this? give a fuck. Give me a robot. All men want robots. That's all we want. Yeah. Four wives, robots, inshallah. Yeah. Put the put the, put the the burk on. Yep. What are you talking about? We don't care. Two coffees. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It's yeah. nice and easy. There's yeah. no such thing as too submissive. No such thing. Yeah. I'm never gonna look at a beautiful woman who does everything I say and go, you know what? You do too much of what I say. I want to go get some disagreeable bitch. Yeah. That sounds boring. That's why you don't fuck guys like that. That's that's yeah. easy solution. You talk to people, but if you want to fuck something like that, you go ahead and something. mount that little bald head of his. You know, yeah. like. I mean, if you want someone to order around, then you know, I guess that's what you're looking for. Go into management. That just sounds boring. <laughs> you know. Um. Can I respond to one of the comments? Well, it's, first you know, let's uh, let's get everyone's react. take here. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. Well, what are, what are some thoughts here? Starting with uh, with Paisley. Man, hold on, come back to me. I'm processing that. There's a lot. That was, <laughs> there's like, was the last there's like six components to that. that yeah. I'm, start over there. Okay. Um, yeah, I just uh, if you're looking for somebody that's that submissive, or you want a partner that's that submissive, so you can order them around, then um, you know you can look for that. And I know there's people out there that love to be ordered around, but I myself would not want a person that's always asking me what to do or what's to do in bed even, like what's next, like, you know, have your own voice. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I had a girl stay with me about a year ago. Uh, she turned out to be a good friend and she was like that when we first got together, very submissive, very, you know, just like, you know, yes, yes, Papa, yes, Papa. Like she was Chicana. So she would always talk to me like that. I'm like, you don't have to say that all the time. Like, it made me feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was just, you know, she was 23, but she 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 liked being with older guys, and that was that was just like her thing. And she was too, too submissive. I had to kind of tell her, like, hey, like, you don't have to. Me personally, I don't like that. I don't like to, you know, you got to be your own person, you know, and, 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 and not make the situation feel like, you're under a commandment or you're a fucking animal or something like that. Like you, 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 you're my equal. If I'm rolling with you, you're my, you're my home girl. You're my homeboy. You're my road dog. You're my friend. There's no creditor debtor in that we're, we're on our own wavelength or we're not vibing at all. I found, uh, again, if y'all ever want to, these people exist. Uh, <laughs> again, I've been on r slash BDSM personals. A lot of people who are that submissive, there's two reasons either they have their shit together and they want in the bedroom to be able to relax and just sort of let go of everything or it's kind of and again people are complex in a spectrum but the two archetypes are that or you see people who lives are a total mess like me but worse and they just want someone because they have no self-control they want someone else to control them and help them like basically function and because sex is such a primal thing it bleeds into that um you know our fetishes are kind of just a way of our subconscious talking to us in a way uh so it's usually sort of one of two extremes people are that submissive and me uh it can be fun but i definitely am not interested in that like that's again as i said towards the beginning uh, doming is fun, but it's a lot of work. I would never want to deal with that 24-7, but the people who are into being that submissive, I hope they find someone who does. Okay. Kiki, Kiki? Well, Kiki has to say hello. hello. Sorry. Callista. I interrupted her. Okay, your reaction to the video. Yes, my reaction to the video following the uwu sound was that he just <laughs> makes like inflammatory comments. What he's saying isn't the most ridiculous thing. If you want a submissive woman, that's cool. Some women aren't, some women aren't. And it's personal preference, that's fine. It's just that he's saying things in a way that makes it inflammatory. And that's like all women should bow down or something. Yeah, like, like, that, right? but versus I like, yeah. I want a woman who will bow down to right, me, which right, is right. It, like, the wording is not the best, but it's also not the wrong sentiment. If you like, want that, maybe right. not 
think about all women. But it sounds like he said it in general, like all women. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah. Well, and he also said all men are like that. Yeah, it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> it's just generalization, so. Your reaction to the video? I mean, personally, I'm not into any kind of guys like that. That's just like, eh. It's nice sometimes to be, you know, told what to do and not to do a lot of the work. If you just want to pump and dump, that's great sometimes. Uh, but like as a general, like if you want a maid, then you gotta you gotta have that conversation with someone. You can't expect it. I think that's the thing. It's a, having that conversation if you're gonna be a yep. submissive person. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. I, with the sex, I think with sex conversation, you don't see a lot of people. That's why people have horrible sex is because people don't talk about it. Like whether it's first date or whatever your preference is, I think you can tell that because he's so used to having. I guess his experience is like having very submissive women. Imagine how mostly unpleased some of those women are. I'm just saying because at what point there are some women that wants that mutual pleasure. And I think it's very, very good to be able to talk about likes or dislikes or, you know, even after sex. Hey, this was good for me. This is not good for me. I like it when you do this. Can you do this a little bit more? I encourage that. But a lot of people, they like the act of sex, but they're ashamed of the pro- like some of the things that go into it. Like, you know, what man wants to hear that, hey, you wasn't my best sex partner. You know what I mean? Like I had better. But it'd be good to say, hey, you know, I like this and, you know, let's put some work in but you can tell from the reaction of the video for me is that i i don't we i wouldn't be attracted to a man like that like to be submissive like i would have to be like it has to be a mutual thing like i feel good you feel good maybe it's my day or maybe it's my turn you know or that day is completely for you so i'll be submissive but that whole set like that's their whole relationship oh it's boring that's boring as hell yeah i think about guys when it talk like when they talk about being submissive and stuff if if they actually just want women to be passive, because I think ultimately maybe, I mean, he's different, but I think guys don't want to feel like they need to change. They don't want to be nagged. They don't want to be edited per se. And so this idea of submission is actually just like a, let me be me, let me live, you know, live my life. And I think for him, he's so inflammatory and so ridiculous that like the concept of a woman giving any feedback would probably hurt him a lot. So I think it more has to do with like passive and criticism. I don't know. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen that guy. That wasn't Howard you, Stern, was it? Have you guys no. have you guys heard of him though? Yeah. Andrew Tate? Yeah. Andrew Tate. You've heard of him? Oh, okay. Have you heard yeah. of him? No. So but your first time oh, hearing, your first time hearing. He's who I've been hearing about recently. Okay. Yeah, he got banned on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, well, so wait, did F- all his people that repost him get banned on TikTok too? I'm not sure. Sucks. So he's uh, just going to keep getting reposted. What's the difference? Like the- well, I mean, it's <laughs> probably going to have a pretty substantial impact on him. But uh, no F in the generation. chat, guys. F mm-hmm. in the chat for Andrew Tate. Um, <laughs> honestly, I feel like y'all didn't give, you didn't seem too upset by that. So maybe we should watch one more. 